testing one two three oops okay oh. april was an interesting month i was traveling and away for three different parts of the month and i also topped it all off with getting a root canal that i was not expecting so April was one of those months where I had so many things I was excited to do and to so many videos I was excited to make, life happened. And you know, we can make all these plans, but sometimes life just gets in the way. So going into May, I'm just feeling very behind and I'm just feeling kind of all over the place right now. And sometimes I feel like because I have this planner brand that I should be organized all the time and on top of everything all the time but i'm just it's just not realistic <laughs> like we're just it's just not realistic i didn't get as much done as i wanted to and i didn't get as much content in that i wanted to i feel like planning may right now is going to help me feel super organized and just so much better and so i'm really excited to sit down and plan i want to first redo my home screen we are gonna do this. If you are feeling a little bit disorganized and just not as on top of it as you wanna be, that's okay. And we can just start over. Let's just start over right now. It's all gonna work out. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go redo my home screen and plan May. Refresh, reset, it's a new month, leave it. April's in the past, May is our future. We got this. So I wanted to redo my home screen because I always feel like it's a way for me to reset. I use my iPad for tons of productivity and work stuff. So I find whenever I update it and, you know, kind of change the look of it, it's kind of like rearranging your room, how it just kind of gives you new energy. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but I always start on Pinterest, just looking through a bunch of different pictures. I looked up pastel aesthetic and that's how I found all of the graphics that I used in my current iPad home screen setup. I have a couple different videos showing you guys how to customize your home screen, so I'll have those linked below because I go into way more detail, but today I just wanted to quickly refresh. Basically, I just go through, I save a bunch of different images that I feel like will look good together, and I also like to choose positive quotes and things like that just to have little reminders on my home screen. Most of these I just found through that pastel aesthetic search keyword on Pinterest. So I just put in a bunch of different sized photo widgets based on the different Pinterest photos I found and yeah, just small, medium, large widgets, putting them in, kind of just doing it randomly. camera wasn't filming so I missed the rest of the setup but all of these are just different app widgets um, the animated one I know I'm gonna get questions about it's MD clock on the App Store and I recently just downloaded it but this is how the final home screen turned out I think it's so cute I'm obsessed with it and yeah I'm just really excited with how it turned out <laughs> Moving into planning May, of course, the first thing I do is I pick my colors. So here are the hex codes that I used for this month's spread. I went in, I put my to-do list items in first this month because I just had a bunch of things on my mind and I just wanted to get them written down because I feel like 
I've told you guys this multiple times, but after I have everything I need to do written down, I just instantly feel better and instantly feel more organized. So I just wanted to get a bunch of those leftover tasks from April down on my planner. all written out I went in and I filled in the rest of my May calendar so my monthly intention for May is one day at a time just taking everything one day at a time I think sometimes it's so easy to get caught up in these big picture goals and just getting overwhelmed by everything that we forget to just focus on today and what we can do today my first goal for the month is to level up my social media content. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I wasn't able to post all of the different ideas that I have written down, and I really just want to bring some of those ideas to fruition this month. I have some fun videos coming up that I'm excited to film and share with you guys, and yeah, just basically want to level up my content and just prioritize that because I love making it and I didn't get to do it that much last month. My next goal is to brainstorm a launch plan. I have a couple different planners in the works and I'm not sure whenever they're going to be released, um, probably in the next couple months, but I am going to be putting together launch plans for the new products and getting that process started. My third goal is to prioritize self-care. Um, I've just noticed that whenever I'm taking care of myself, working out, eating healthy, you know, taking time to get eight hours of sleep and things like that, that I just feel better. So definitely want to prioritize that this month and every month. And my last goal is just to continue daily journaling, even through all of the traveling I did last month, I still kept up my journal habit, which has just been so beneficial for me lately. It's just such a great release and I highly recommend it. I went ahead and filled in all of the dates in my calendar off camera and right now I'm just going in and I'm putting in some important dates of the month. Once again, I will be traveling a few times this month. I just feel like I've never traveled this much in my life. I usually can go like almost a year without traveling and then in the past two months I've just been all over the place. But it's good and I'm learning to just kind of enjoy it and roll with the punches. Roll with the punches is a bad term, but just kind of roll with it and, you know, learn to let go of my plan sometimes and just live and be present in the moment. Then I plan some tentative YouTube upload days. I have a whole Google sheet I made of a bunch of different YouTube video ideas that I am so excited to make. So I really want to prioritize this platform this month because I just love I just love making YouTube videos and I love interacting with you guys on here. After I finish up my calendar, it's time to move into this month's vision board. For this month's vision board, I actually coordinated the colors a lot more than I usually do. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like it. Maybe it's because I already had a glass of wine in me and I was just trying to make it look pretty and I was just having a little bit too much fun making this vision board. They all kind of follow the theme of just embracing being out of your comfort zone and just embracing change and just working through things like that. Just things that are very relevant in my life at the moment. So that's kind of what I based my vision board on for the month of May. And definitely share your month's vision board with me on Instagram. I love when you guys share with me your monthly vision board. It's just so fun to see what other people have on their vision boards and what other people's goals and intentions are for the month. And I feel like on Instagram, we can all just post it and share it and kind of have a little community around it. 
Randomly, as I was scrolling through Pinterest, I found this Neopets picture and I clicked on it and then it brought up a bunch of super nostalgic pictures. Comment below if you recognize any of the pictures up here. I just went down a little trip of memory lane. Like all of these things were my childhood and I was just having a lot of fun looking through all of this. <laughs> Then you guys know the drill, I open up Canva and I start arranging everything the way I like it. Just randomly pasting various images next to each other. I don't follow any sort of plan, I just kind of randomly do it and find it along the way. very pleased with how everything turned out. I had so much fun filming this video and just relaxing with you guys with a glass of wine on a Friday night, planning things out. Let me know what you guys are doing in the month of May and how your month of April was. I hope this video helped you if maybe you're feeling the same as I am and just feeling a little bit disheveled and disorganized and just a little bit out of your routine, but that's all right, that's life and it happens and your plan and your goals are always there waiting for you when you get back. So just remember that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.